Hello, Sagittarius. We are doing their current feelings, March 2021, for you right now. Sagittarius. Let's see what we have going on. We're using the Romance Angels. Let's see, get a card for... Sag oh, Sagittarius. It flew out. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Nice start. Let's see. Their current feelings for you. Oh, opened up to the Ten of Pentacles. That's a beautiful thing. Sagittarius, what do you got going on? Their current feelings for you. They've got some chemistry. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius have going on? Their current feelings. Wow. Aquarius energy, the star. They have high hopes for you, Sagittarius, that you guys are going to turn into something. That this chemistry is going to go the distance into a solid relationship. Ah, oh, and they could be an Aries. Wow, you guys got two majors, the star and the emperor. That's big for the first two cards out. So I feel like this is you guys, uh, that you guys will be some kind of power couple here. They're feeling, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of confidence here. I feel like there's a lot of stability and confidence in you two becoming an item. So I feel like this is might be for some of you the beginning of something. What else do we have here for their current feelings? Now we get the Eight of Swords crossing it here with the Star card and the Emperor. One of you may be feeling tied tied down, tied to something, and not able to move forward yet with the relationship. So what are their feelings about this? What's going on here? Something you're not seeing, Sag. Something that, oh my gosh, you got blindfold here, blindfold here. But this one's clear. Uh, it's, you know, a veil type and this the two two of swords which means choices things of the mind and then the eight of swords here is about a kind of a self-imposed prison what else do we have about their current feelings for sag Let's clarify this eight and two whoa page of swords they feel as though they can't come to you, Sag, and say something. They're being held back from being able to divulge their true feelings for you, Sag. Why is that? Why do they feel that way about their Sagittarius? Ah, Five of Wands. So the double message here is that there could have been some kind of conflict between you guys before this even got off the ground, this kind of relationship or this whatever you guys had got started. And the other thing is it's in their mind that they can't, um, especially with that Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands, they're not able to rationalize or figure out how to approach you in a way that they feel they'll be successful with their Sag. What else do we have here? How are they feeling about Sag? But having that star uh, Aquarius energy or air energy with that emperor fire energy, that's a big start. The high priestess, they're trying to figure you out. They're really trying to come to some kind of wisdom about you, Sag, about how you are, how you would accept them, how you feel about them. And they're, tr they're trying to use their intuition and try to gauge how you act towards them, but they're also trying to figure you out. Interesting. What else do we have here for Sag? How they are feeling about the Sag? They also feel sad that you have some other options on the table and they're concerned you may pick 
someone else. You've got all these glowing cups here, Sag, and they feel that they might not be the one you will select. Yeah, this person doesn't have a lot of confidence uh, in this, in themselves, I should say. But with these two cards, I feel like this person has a lot of hope and has a lot of stability in their life, but they're just not seeing it. They, they just have this insecurity about them. Can we clarify the High Priestess, the five and the seven? Yeah, it's weighing them down. I feel like they want to build something with you. But yet again, I'm getting the same messages. They don't know how, how to go about it, Sag. They don't know how to go about this. They don't know how to start it. They don't know what they should do. Any advice for Sag about this? What should Sagittarius do to kind of help them out? Hmm. First message I got was just be yourself and, and stay the course with that four of pentacles as advice for you, Sag. Just kind of do what you're doing stay kind of how you are don't I feel like don't go approaching them or do anything it's like sort of as the it's sort of like it's something they have to do and that you just kind of stay where you are any other advice for Sagittarius in this situation for this sort of the beginning of a relationship now you get the four of pentacles. Now you get the five of pentacles. I feel like it's only reach out to them, Sag, if they make that move. I feel like you're if you if you act too soon, Sag, they will retract and, and, and pull back. But I think if you offer your hand after they have made a move you and this person will be victorious look at the six of wands on the bottom you guys will be victorious this will this will come to some kind of new level new step and you've got two fives seven eight yeah yeah this cycle needs to work itself out some more so it's great that you guys have this chemistry it's great that you guys are showing up from the majors and it is some kind of cycle that you guys both have to work out. But basically, for you, Sag, don't come forward until they have made the move. That's what I'm seeing for you, Sag. Anything else for Sagittarius? It could be an air sign with all these swords. Yeah. Careful on your choices. I feel like he's balancing on this tightrope. Careful on those choices, Sag. Tread carefully with this relationship. And not in a way that I feel like this is, you know, a person that's not um, being authentic. I feel like it's just tread carefully because of their personality and how they will react to you if you kind of be fiery and go forward. The person might retract back. But... Really interesting, Sag. That's how they're feeling. Very, very interesting. Well, Sag, that's what I have for you for their current feelings. Please click the like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when I go live. I go live on Sundays, and I'm going to be probably moving my lives to my second live to Thursday, where I can pull a couple of cards for you on your situation. Just get into that chat early. Even though I'm a small channel, the chat fills up fast with questions and I can only do so many. I do about 20 during the week and, and 30 on the weekend. And I hope to see you soon, Sag. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.